everybody. I honestly didn't think I was going to get around to doing a voiceover. I thought the only way I was going to be able to post this video is if I just did it with music. But I am forcing myself to do a voiceover even though I feel so crunched for time. But anyway, I'm here because I like chatting with you guys. It just feels more personal and I don't know. I like the communication between us. So anyway, I started out, I'm using my square black dilutions journal and I traced the diamond from, um, Diane came out with stencils a mass set not that long ago where she took some of her old favorites and some new. It's um, classics. I'll have links down below the video. So I traced that out and then I cut it and I'm taking some of her new stamps. So the ones you see there on the right, I used a mixture of um, Let Them Eat Cake for the head and then the little body part down below her head. That is from Three Little Maids, a bit of an older stamp set. Not that old, but older. So I combined those two to make up that part. Now I'm doing some doodling with a white Posca paint pen and I'm using the stencil Diamonds Are Forever in the large size. And I didn't want to cover the whole entire page. Um, I kind of wanted it not a distressed look, but like an unfinished look. So I probably should have stopped it, like not did the whole diamond, but maybe did like two thirds of the diamond. So it kind of had that raggedy edge look and not so finished. But anyway, <laughs> so I'm just loosely tracing that diamond. And I was having a problem with my paint pen, like it was working, but it just wasn't as bold as it usually is. So I ended up having to get a new one and what a difference. I mean, look at that. <laughs> that is so white compared to the other. So I end up going back and retracing what I already did because it's such a huge difference. So don't be like me and do half of your page when you know darn well you should probably change your paint pen. Just do it. Because <laughs> if not, you just kind of pretty much have to do twice the work because you have to redo it. So I actually have three pages done in this book. And I have the editing done. I've just been waiting for a chance to do the voiceovers. Like, I've had this ready last week. But I feel like ever since I left gel press, things have been coming at me, like opportunities and just stuff that I have to do <laughs> that I can't say. <laughs> and it's just, wow. Wow. It, it's a lot. Like, it's a good a lot. It's just I need to be better at time management and not wasting time as much. And maybe instead of like, oh, I should do this, I should do that, but I want to do this and this, I should just, you know, suck it up, do what has to be done, and then later do what it is that I'm in the mood to do. But sometimes I just feel like it's better to do what it is you're in the mood to do because if you do something else instead, sometimes you're just not putting your everything into it. You know what I mean? So I usually try to go with the flow and go with the mood I'm in because I feel that gets better results. But sometimes you just have to do what you have to do. So anyway... I'm not rambling. <laughs> I'm just doing out my quote and I didn't plan a font. I feel like I've been getting lazy with my um, hand lettering. 
It's almost like I forget how. <laughs> but a lot of the times now when I do a quote, I just wing it. I don't really think of a style to do. I just, I start writing it out and let it happen. I don't mind this lettering. I don't really care for the why, but everything else I like. So my cuff is pretty much gone. I won't say it's really gone because I still cough every day, but it's rare. It's very rare. My husband thinks I only cough when he's around. <laughs> and it does feel that way, but otherwise I'm not talking a whole lot. It's just when he's around and we get talking and then I'm laughing and then when I laugh, I want to cough. And But I'm calling it almost gone. <laughs> Maybe I'm just allergic to him. <laughs> After, what, 25 years or more? I think it's more than 25 years. Anyway. I think that would be a long time to be with something and then all of a sudden uh, develop an allergy to it. <laughs> and I'm not calling my husband an it. I'm just stating, like, if there was anything around. I actually just stopped talking and I was going to go back and edit that out, but you guys know I'm just joking around and whatever. <laughs> I'm not calling my husband an it. <laughs> I love the guy. <laughs> anyway, now I do remember what the quote says now that it's almost done says why sometimes I've believed as many as six impossible things before breakfast and that's from Alice in Wonderland I would love to be able to do like the whole album kind of like Alice in Wonderland esque like just you know just a little bit of a touch of Alice in Wonderland to every single page but I don't know if I could come up with that many things. Maybe if it was a smaller album, like not as many pages. So I have this very old dilution stencil. Like I would think this is probably among her first. I have no idea. I got it at Michael's many, many years ago. They would have like a stamp and stencil set. It's called Flower Medley anyway. And I highly doubt you'd be able to get it in any stores. Maybe you could find it like on Etsy or Amazon, eBay, something like that. But you would probably pay way too much for it. And really Diane has so many other beautiful stencils out there that I wouldn't worry about it and I would just use something else. You could even take, like if you wanted to add more flowers, you could just take the flower section of that diamond stencil and keep doing the flower over and over again. And she also has like a rose stencil and she came out with um, like a wonky flower stencil not that long ago. So I mean she has other flowers. So anyway I'm trying to do that whole broken stencil look again like not doing the whole entire thing and covering the whole background but kind of mixing them up. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that really is pretty much it. I don't think I do anything else. Like I glue down those little teacups and kettles or teapots. Those are from her stamp set Tea Time Treats. It's one of the border ones and I just cut them out individually. And that is it. 
in this black square journal I am going to have it all like this black and white and not add any color so that is what I have this album for oh look I doodle in some of the spaces <laughs> I don't do it a whole lot though I think it's just the leaves and I think I color in yeah that <laughs> I do have a memory somewhat. I swear there is stuff that I actually do remember. So anyway, that's it for this video. Maybe I will even go and do the voiceover for the next video. Get it all done. Wouldn't that be something? Never mind that I have to go and get ready to go to work. <laughs> This is more important than having to go to work, right? I think so. Now, if my husband could just agree, that would be awesome. Okay, so I am going to go. I want to thank you guys so much for being patient and waiting for another video to come out. I want to get better at it. Like, I feel like... I've been kind of letting my YouTube channel slide. It's just, and I'm not purposely doing it. It's just, I've been busy. And I have videos, but I don't have them edited yet, or I don't have the voiceover done yet. And then I'm doing stuff, but I can't share it yet. So just bear with me. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Bye.